Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, January 25th, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I got an update and a clarification about the Cisco WebEx Chrome plugin issue I talked about yesterday. First of all, on Tuesday morning, Cisco did release a yet another update for this plugin 105. This version now fixes the vulnerability and should be safe. Secondly, yesterday I stated that this vulnerability was released after the courtesy time that Google usually gives uh, vendors expired. That's not true. They actually released details about the vulnerability after version 103 of the plugin was released, which was supposed to fix the vulnerability, but ended up not quite fixing it. So in short, make sure that you're running at least 105 of this plugin. That plugin should be fine. There were also some questions about if this affects other browsers. It's possible that it affects other browsers, but at this point, there is no evidence of that. Also, each browser has their own WebEx plugin, so it's not that you would install the Chrome plugin into Safari, Firefox, or some other browser like that. And Citrix conducted a survey of large British companies into ransomware, in particular into what Citrix calls bluff ransomware. I'll also have it called uh, fake ransomware. This is ransomware that just pops up a message telling you your files are encrypted and is asking for a ransom. Amazingly, about 20% of UK businesses have fallen for this kind of ransomware, which is a little bit more than half of the organizations that have been affected by it. This is actually also not that uncommon with the good old fashioned kidnapping ransom in countries where kidnappings and uh, ransom demands are somewhat common. Kidnappers often just uh, call their relatives up claiming that they hold uh, one of their friends or relatives for ransom in order to get money out of them, even though they never actually kidnapped that particular individual. But if events like this and, well, ransomware is now an event like that are becoming very common, then of course, uh, businesses and individuals are getting almost used to paying for ransomware. And if you're using uh, modern Linux distributions, chances are that your system is using systemd in order to manage demons and the like. Well, it turns out that a bug fixed uh, about a year ago in systemd, which was believed to just be a denial of service vulnerability, actually can pretty easily be exploited for privilege escalation. Now, you likely already applied the patch back in January of 2016, or well, February, it was the end of January when it was released, but double check because there is a proof of concept out now on how to exploit this particular approach escalation vulnerability. And we have an update for a popular web server engine X. It's now up to version 10.11.9. It fixes a couple of bugs and vulnerabilities. They're not really that clear, which is what in their release. But one that sounds sort of interesting is that the SSL verify client directive might not work in older versions of engine X. And exploit was released for a very specific version of the GNU screen utility. And now you do have screen on most Unix systems, but only a few of them, as far as I can tell, use the GNU version of it. And this only affects a very particular version of the GNU version of screen. CentOS, for example, is not affected. Ubuntu uses the GNU version, but uh, I haven't found a Ubuntu distribution currently that does use the vulnerable version. Anyway, in this particular vulnerability does allow an attacker to create arbitrary files that then turn out to be owned by a root. So this could be used to overwrite files owned by root or create new files. These files aren't executable by default, but 
of course, just overriding a root on file that is then being executed later uh, could cause quite a bit of damage and uh, lead to full root access for the attacker. So double check if you have the vulnerable version. It's a real easy test slash exploit to run. And that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.